Hi, in this video we will learn about a contemporary panel data regression technique which is known as cross-sectionally augmented autoregressive distributed lag model and its acronym is CSARDL. It is a contemporary technique because it was uh, given in 2015 and in this video we will try to learn its basic uh, concept and its applicability and secondly we will learn how we do it in Stata and we will see its uh, economic application as well in the form of existing literature. So before we go ahead, I suggest that you subscribe to this channel and uh, click the bell icon so that you continuously receive the beneficial techniques and tools of quantitative economics. So it is attributed to uh, these two authors. Bissalan is one of the most famous uh, statistical economists and he has already given the model of ARDL and with his work alongside the other author he gave this idea. This is the whole reference of the authors. You can download the article and read it for the uh, understanding. Basically what happens is that in most of the economic models we have heterogeneity in the coefficients that is the slopes are heterogeneous they are not same. There are a number of references in a number of uh, studies that can verify this thing. Moreover, in the panel data, what happens is that we find cross-sectional dependence extensively. So in such situations, wherever we have the dynamics, that is, the changes over time, and we have heterogeneity in terms of the slope parameters, and we have cross-sectional dependence, CSARDL is suitable because ARDL is capturing the dynamic side of the things and wherever we have cross-sectional dependence suitably the cross-sectional augmented ARDL will be suitable. So this is the syntax we have a certain keyword for the command which is XTDCCE where CCE stands for common correlated effects and 2 is for the version of the command there has been some upgrades in this command and then is the dependent variable and then we have the long run slope coefficients, those variables, that is the lagged version of the dependent variable and the independent variables. And then the option for the long run estimates by using which of the estimation techniques we want to estimate the uh, long run uh, coefficients. So we choose ARDL here because we want to estimate CSARDL. And uh, we also specify the cross sectional averages or means for all the variables that we have that is CS, CR, Y, X1, X2 the dependent and the independent variables. Definitely all of these options have quite a bit of details for which you can refer to the work of the authors. However, this is a simplified version of this uh, command. Finally, we have the uh, cross-sectional lags if you want to specify any lags. Here we choose just to mention zero that is no lag, neither a lead and we are going to use this simple option. Uh, with reference to the certain data set that I'm using here, this will be the command. Primarily, I will take you to an empirical example. So this is that example. This is one of our recent works. And uh, this is the general name. And this is the title of this article. And uh, now we have the abstract. We will come straight away to the uh, table that we are referring to. So these are the results of CSARDL in it and we can see that we have long run estimates as well as short run estimates, uh, the variables in the long run and the variables in the short run with their difference term. This is the ECT term which is a salient feature of ARDL model no matter it is cross sectionally augmented or not. So this is a simple estimation. We also have another estimation in which uh, non-linear and interaction terms have been estimated. So you can see that um, the variables, they are there, as well as their linear model. This is the linear model. This is the non-linear model. This is with interaction term. All of these are the long run estimates. And for the short term estimates, we have this panel in which we have linear uh, estimates, uh, the linear model, and then the non-linear model and then finally the model with the interaction term. So ECT term is also there because it has to be 
uh, which is the salient feature of an ARDL model. So now we are in Strata 17 and we are going to install this command primarily. If it is not available, you can use any other Strata version. You just have to install this command. And this is the command for installing that is SSC install. And this is the command xtdccE2. So when I click the enter button, now it is installing. So you can see this uh, progress circle and here it is being, uh, you know, doing the process of installing. And now it verifies that it is up to date now. It was already installed uh, and it is now verified that it is up to date. So no matter it's first time install or if there is any up to, up, update, you will get it. Now you will run the command and command is this. We have pasted it. This is the keyword for the command, the dependent variable, the lag of the dependent variable and the independent variables. Then ARDL is the estimation technique we are choosing for the long run estimates. And this is the cross sectional average uh, in which we are using all the variables and for cross sectional uh, uh, average we are using the lag of zero that is no lag uh, this is a simplified version of the model now we click the enter button and we get the results uh, let us uh, view it from the beginning this is the command and this is the title of the results that is it's a dynamic common correlated effects estimator that is CSARDL so it incorporates the cross-sectional dependence and these are the common uh, statistics that we usually find in our regression. We come to the um, results. We have uh, primarily the short run results or estimates. Then we have long run estimates. Both of them are there that we saw in the uh, article. And we also have the ECT that is adjustment term. So all those statistics that are required are available here. Uh, the short run estimates, they are there for the lag term of the dependent variable and more interestingly the dependent variable terms in the short run that is delta k, delta l and delta r. They are statistically significant however the last one is not so uh, model building can be revisited. This is the uh, set of uh, long run coefficients they are there positive. The statistical significance for the first two independent variables is there but for the third variable it is not statistically significant so it is in lines with the results of the short run estimates so it means that this variable is not a suitable variable at least in this situation now we come to the ect the uh, ect term is minus 0.584 which is less than one which is negative and uh, it is also statistically significant so it is in the desirable situation so we have estimated the CSARDL using the given data. Uh, definitely this uh, variable is not a good variable to include in this. So we can do the usual trial and error experimentation that we do in our regression results. So this is how we can use the CSARDL uh, in our empirical estimations by using Stata. And uh, stay subscribed for more. Thank you.